Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glister Elf here. I am going to be playing some Modern. This is going to be on uh, Untap in their Modern Open League, Season 7 or some odd. Uh, this is actually the deck that I'm running. I am running Bogles. Uh, and the reason I'm not running Infect, which breaks my heart a little bit, but uh, my good friend TJ Poole uh, is in the hospital. So this is his deck. This is He has a play mat with Slippery Bogle and his face on it. He, he really likes this deck. Uh, and so in honor of him, I'm going to be running this in the league. Uh, so it's pretty typical. You've got your, your usual creatures, your uh, Bogle, your Scout, your Spirit Dancer, the one of Arbor. Uh, it's running four path, one Dromoka's Command. I'm not an advocate of running Leyline Sanctity in the main board, uh, but it's in the sideboard, of course. Uh, instead, I like to run more Auras. <laughs> so we have the usual suite. Uh, Ethereal Armor, Griff's Boon, just as a one-of because that ability is expensive. Uh, Hyena Umbra, of course, give us some Totem Armor. Rancor, of course, Spider Umbra only as a three-of. Daybreak, of course, shout-outs to Ajani, shout-outs to Lion, Scarf, Jesus, I don't know. Uh, two Spirit Mantles and a one Unflinching Courage, no Spirit Links. Uh, then the land base is pretty typical, counting the Dryad Arbor, it's 20 lands. Uh, just three Temple Gardens, but one forest, one plains, both snow covered for value, and uh, yeah, Razor Verge, Horizon Canopy. Sideboard is going to include Damping Sphere, Gaddic Teague, uh, Kataki, three Rest in Peace, which will matter in a bit, one Seal Primordium, two Stony Silence, and four Light on Sanctity. And I, in this league, you know what your opponent's deck is going in, so I know that my opponent's on Dredge, and it's this monstrosity. It's this. <laughs> Yeah, this is this will be fun. Neither of us will be really interacting much with the other one. We're just two ships passing in the night, trying to race. And I, I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Not a lot of main, you know, the dark blast is going to do jack all against me. Conflagrate will have to hit my face and won't work on my creatures. Uh, you know, it's it's fine. Going into the sideboard, I'll be blinking dark blast and lightning axe. So maybe maybe not running infect was right actually. Uh, Nature's Claim is the only one I'm really worried about here. Maybe Assassin's Trophy. And uh, it's time to begin, I guess. So let's see. Now I have to go and find the game. Where are you, buddy? Join game. Should be one of these up here. It is not. Alright, so I'm going to let my bud know that I will start up. Let's hit New Game. Competitive. Ooh, yeah, it was a Japan hobby as last time, but... Uh, Filthy Casual is his name, as I recall. We're going to not be playing Frontier, <coughs> sadly. Uh, competitive, two players, da da da. Let's see, let me make sure that's right. Oh, it's Filthy Casual with uh, a four there. For sure, why not? Alright. So it's going to start up in a little bit, and uh, when that time comes, he'll jump on in. Here we go, game created. Uh, enter the game, as you do. Need to come up with an icon. I mean, it's not like I don't have plenty. Let's do Bogles, of course. You got to see some of the other decks as well. Shuffle my deck. While I'm waiting, shuffle a bit more. Hey, there we go. Makes absolutely no difference, but, you know. As you do. Waiting for players. And now we wait. We play the waiting game, so give him just a little bit. Shouldn't take too long out. I did let him know, and he's he's active in the chat, so maybe you'll see. So in the meantime, I guess we'll go back through and actually give a serious take to the, the dredge deck. So four Bloodgast, three Golgari Thugs, so the worst dredger. Obviously, we're going to be running four Stinkweedem. Uh, four Narcomoebas, four Prized Amalgams, and these are these and the Bloodgast are usually where the damage is going to be coming from. And Conflagrate, just as a two of. We'll dig to them eventually. It'll happen. Uh, one Dark Blast as spot removal, uh, just easy dredge spot removal. Faithless Looting as an engine piece, Cathartic Union, same. Life in the Loam will serve as a dredge card, it can get back lands. It can also fill up the hand for Conflagrate, which may matter. Um, and then Creeping Chill to keep them in the game against a lot of aggro decks. Uh, it also makes the work, makes there be a little bit less work for Bloodgast and Prized Amalgam as well. They don't have to work quite as hard. Shriekhorn is an engine piece. It's a little slow, but it's not worth putting in Stony Silence for just this card. Um, but yeah, it comes in with three counters and makes a mill two each time. 
the land base is, I think, fairly typical. Two mountains is, to me, a little bit odd, but I guess when you're going up against Path and Assassin's Trophy, it makes sense. It's not just Blood Moon we're looking at. Also, you'll notice there's way more red in the deck, so that's fair enough. Uh, then sideboard Dark Blast, three Lightning Axe, four Nature's Claim, two Ancient Grudge, see Affinity, I guess, and would have been KCI. Assassin's Trophy is just a catch-all for everything, and Leyline of the Void for the Mirror, and other graveyard decks like Grishel Brand. Alright, so uh, we're, we're in. We finally got that all sorted out. Apparently Untap froze on him, so that'll do it. Him or her, I'm not sure. I see the, the Huey icon. <laughs> So I assume him, but that's not that's not how that works. So mountain into faithless looting. Hopefully this is all recording. Yep, it's recording. Should be anyway. All right, cool. Bunch of extra cards. Oh, hi. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Very good. I'm gonna do my best to remember all my little cues I have. Thankfully, this is a pretty uninteractive deck of mine. I'm not gonna rem I'm not gonna be playing a lot of counter spells, for instance. Okay, now, uh, as for the hand, so we're looking at two lands, uh, just the one creature, but Spogles, that's what you expect. That's actually usually what you hope for. There's no Lilianas, after all. And, uh, and a bunch of stuff, so... C is card draw. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's helpful. That's handy. So we're gonna play that. We're gonna tap it. Gonna go down a life. Gonna send this to the send that to the graveyard. And find a card. Where'd you go? Aha. Alright, so good. Down two. Close that out. Shuffle the deck, why not? Play that. Glade cover. Hiya. And then pass the Yeah, we do that again. There we go. Pass the turn. So mine is very typical. Ooh. Getting a message over here. Oh, never mind, we're good. Should be good. Alright. Uh good old dredge. You know what? It might be helpful if I looked and saw yeah, stinkweed. Yep, that'll do. Cool. Into a lot more in the yard. Yeah, just a just a little bit. Mmm. 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 Okay. Oh, creeping chill. I uh, I missed that. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, so Creeping Chill, for those that don't know, is uh, is pretty good. Three damage to each opponent. Conflagrate where X is zero? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, um, no response. <laughs> what are you going to do? Alright, pass to me. So, draw a card. Let's see. No source of life gain just yet. And uh, I'm not low enough for blood gas, blood gas to gain haste. I also just see blood gas in the yard. No lands yet, interestingly enough. Since we have access to the deck list, uh, Dakmore Salvage? No Dakmore Salvage. So they might have to start taking some natural draws to get another land if they don't have one. So, um... Uh, Play a land. Now, this is ethereal armor. This is obviously going on. Ethereal armor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not, not, not where that's supposed to go. Crap. They're stuck. They're stuck. Oops. <laughs> They're stuck. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Mmm. How do I get them unstuck? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's kind of annoying, but it happens, I guess. Something like that. 
Um, I don't see any source of damage that can be dealt to hexproof creatures in here. So I don't think I need the totem armor yet. So we're just going to go for maximum damage. Oh my goodness, it got it stuck again. I swear, I swear. Stuck again, lol. Okay, so this is... <sighs> this is annoying. How about this? How about we discard just that one? Okay, there we go. Okay, finally. Okay, combat. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, took it like a champ. All right, and then pass turn. <laughs> that took way longer than I had hoped. Now, if my opponent does happen to get another creature, then if I path that creature, they will get another land. Okay, there's a land. It could really use a source of lifelink here. There's Bloodgast, number one. Should be another in the yard, if I remember correctly. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Just one blood gassed trigger I, I give take backsies I I I just do I'm that kind of person there we go it happens all right <laughs> what can you what are you gonna do I I just that kind of person I guess Okay, now I, I do have to play a little bit carefully here. A little bit. Because, so my opponent is about to draw or dredge, and they'll have six cards in hand. Six in conflagrate, that's six damage, and then these two blood gas put me to ten. Plus they could get a creeping chill, and that can do, and then I'd be at one. Because four plus six, that's ten plus 3, that's 13. 13. 14 minus 13 is 1. So if I fetch here and they get a creeping chill, I'm dead. I'm just, I'm just dead. Do I go for it? I think I would like to play the, the conservative way, but let's look at our life total again. Well, no, 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 I can, I can afford to hold up... Okay, Spirit Mantle is interesting. I can afford to hold up uh, path to Exile here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go one, two, put a Spirit Mantle on here. Oh, that's a Misty Rainforest. I'd have to fetch Shock. Oh, it's okay, I already did it. I should have gone fetch for Forest. Alright, so I'm giving up a little bit of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Um, they can't block. Yeah, 
is there a trick? Dark Blast won't work. Yeah, I, I don't see anything that they can do here. Okay, nope, they just took it. Um, then I'll pass turn. It's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, now I've set myself up so that if I fetch for a path, fetch for Temple Garden to use the path, I will, uh, oh, okay, so we are dredging. Here comes creeping. Um, then I will be setting myself up to take as much damage as I had worked out earlier, because it'll be two from Bloodgast, uh, one from Fetch, two from Temple Garden. I've got this next game if they can't win this turn, though. That's the, that's the trick. If they cannot win. Oh, wait a minute. There's another. Okay, so I was right. I was right. Called it. If I fetch there, I was dead. So, <laughs> that's, that's playing conservatively, I guess. This does pose a problem. Now, I'm not worried about the Narco Amoeba. The Narco Amoeba is fine. Uh, because I have protection from creatures. There's a tiny problem here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. So now I don't have lethal. They just gained three from that creeping chill. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is tricky. This is tricky. Alright, math time. I'm going to go to 9 no matter what. I can go to 7, fetch, go to 6, set myself up to die to conflagrate next turn. That does not seem like a good idea. Um, oh man. Yeah, I may just have to leave that fetch land off. Oh, I, I thought I did. Oh. I thought I did. Hmm, yeah, I could have sworn I had. Okay. Alright, we're doing we're doing it all. Okay. Can't fetch because I'll just die. So we have to take it. Go to seven. And hope to have it next turn. Alright, or or a Daybreak Coronet. Or an Inflinching Courage. Because that Conflagrate is Sorcery Speed. So if I draw an Inflinching Courage here, I'll be fine. Alright. I'll be okay. Just a Source of Life Link would be really nice right about now. Uh, because next turn, I won't be able to simply block unless I have a Source of Life gain um, for the Glade Cover Scout. Did it really take that long to register? Huh. Maybe I have slow internet? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. Anything else? I will say, I gave a take back, see? I'd be in a very different spot now if I didn't. Uh, I wouldn't have to worry so much about the fetch here. And I could path one of them, da da da. But I also. I mean, it would have been different if I had fetched with the Misty Rainforest for a forest and used that for the Spirit Mantle so that I could use the Snow Covered for. Um, oh. Oh, we're just doing it now. We're just. Okay, fair enough. We're just doing it now. Okay, here goes nothing. Card draw. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I can't fetch, but if I go uh, Ethereal Armor, Hyena Umbra, how much is that? So let's see. 
Dadgummit. Okay, there we go. I'm from the south, so dadgummit. Alright, let's see how much that is in total. Do I have lethal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Swing fifteen GG. Yep, okay. Top decks of glory. I guess I didn't need life gain. I could also have that. <laughs> so that uh yeah. Uh sideboard time. <laughs> so I got one. I got one. Let's see. Where Okay. Oh, here it is. Scoop cards and sideboard. This one's actually not that hard. I have three, rest in peace. One. I hear footsteps. I heard footsteps. Alright, Truma. I hear knocking. Is that Evangeline? <gasps> I one moment. I have to I have to let her in. So nice of you. Thank you very much, Evangeline. Oh, I was recording. Oh, I was going to play a game with a friend of mine on here, and while I was doing it, I was going to record because it gives me more for the channel. So if you would like, you can come over. I have to figure out some cards to take out. I don't think Dromoka's Command is. Oh, there you are. I don't think Dromoka's Command does enough, unfortunately. I don't think it does much of anything here. And then I need two more to come out. Now, knowing that Nature's Claim is coming in, the Daybreak Coronet actually looks a little less good because I can get blown out. Hey there, honey. Mm-hmm. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Would you please say hi to the camera? Hi. Hi, camera. Uh, I would like to keep in the unflinching courage because when it works, it really works. Coronet may be a necessary evil. It's such a good card, it's hard to cut. Um, there are, there is a flying card, it's Narcomoeba, but I don't think that's necessarily worth keeping in the spider umber. <laughs> You're making some funny noises. <laughs> I hear your funny noises back there. <laughs> would you like to come over here so the camera can see you too? Or would you like to play with your kitchen? Okay. One does you would come after you are done. I with promise. The C D D thing, whatever you do. Oh yes, fair enough. I can do that. I promise. <laughs> All right. So we Just have. Just go on to start and do your thing. I'll be right here. Okay. I I think I legitimately can start off with Dryad Arbor, because. Uh, they probably cited out any spot removal they had. Dark Blast, I, I don't see why that would still be in here. Uh, Dryad Arbor is the only card it can actually work on, except for using it twice on a naked sp a spirit dancer. Naked spirit dancer. I have a, I have a kid, so that works too. Um, it doesn't matter. My opponent's going first. I will keep. We're going to just try to have an explosive hand. Do you like my coffee? Yes. My cup? It has a fox on it. I like it. Thank you. Just pick up you spout that tea. <laughs> <laughs> I let the record show. She knocked me into it, but yes, I did I did knock the cup over. <laughs> You're right, I did. <laughs> mm, you and Pikachu. Ooh. She has her Pikachu. May I show the Pikachu to the camera, please? Pika. Oh, Pikachu. they passed. That's that's interesting. Oh, may I please? And you can come over too if you'd like. No. Okay. Pika! In this case, I would rather, if I can help it, not run the Dryad Arbor out. Um, what's probably going to happen is because I'm not worried about spot removal, I'm going to equip the Spirit Dancer anyway. Pika. There's Pikachu. So I can go. Pikachu's out of your shoulder! You're right! I can go. Pika! Rainforest Pika. into. 
Canopy Spirit Dancer. Pikachu doesn't want to listen to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot. Okay, and then I'll pass the turn back. I'm sorry, Pikachu. Was I talking too much? Pikachu. I was talking to the camera so that they would know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Pikachu. Would you like to sit in my lap, Evangeline or Pikachu? Or both? Pikachu. You would not? Okay. Both of us. I think we want it. Okay. Would you like to come over so the camera can see your face? They've seen Pikachu, but they haven't seen you yet. It's always nice to show you off because you're nice and sweet and cute and kind and silly and wonderful. Oh, oh, you're coming around this. Oh, you know what? We're going to turn the camera a little bit. There you are. Hi there. Hi. Hey, sweetie. Pikachu's Hi. trying to be on my show. Uh, and in the meantime, my opponent's just fetching. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, now we can see you and Pikachu better. Oh, I like this view. This is a good view. Mm-hmm. Yep. You are so precious. Mm-hmm. Pikachu's... Pikachu is doing it. That's right. Hello oh. Kitty wants to do it, too. <laughs> okay. Oh. Only if we wake up. oh, that's right. Hello Kitty is right here with the Mario outfit. It's Hello Kitty with Mario's overalls. So, yep. Mm -hmm. She likes Pokemon and Mario, and she's got a whole big cooking set that she got for Christmas, and it's really fun for her. Mm hmm. And in the meantime, my opponent's just resolving a cathartic reunion. All right. <laughs> this is a little bit hard. Yeah. It probably is, isn't it? It's probably a little hard doing it this way. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly and I love you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the Pokemon has a oh, mouth. Oh, there's a creeping chill. I missed that. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, you can be on my head. You know what I used? Oh, there we go. <laughs> you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> this is the best. Whatever else happens, this is the best video. This is the best. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Oh, was there another creeping chill? Oh, just the one. But it took that long to... <laughs> it finally finished resolving the, the damage. Maybe my internet's just slow. I don't know. Yeah, it is just slow. Yeah, I think you're right. My internet is really, Pikachu! really slow. Pikachu! Hmm. Pikachu! Pikachu! Oh, J! J, 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 J! J, 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 J! No! <laughs> is that not how it works? No. you up over here? I was going to show the camera something with you, please. No. I kind of need you in my lap to show you. It'll take just a minute, please. No. You sure? I'm sure. What's wrong? I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to be on the camera? I don't want. I just don't want. 
I'm going to do it. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? No. Let me tell you. I'll whisper it in your ear. They're still taking their turn anyway, so we have to <laughs> we have to fill some dead air. Okay, I'll whisper it. Oh. Just whisper it. Uh, yes. Just whisper it. No. You don't want to do that? Okay. No. She's she's smiling now, but she doesn't want to do it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. And make sure it's yep, still just the one. Ooh. Okay. Do you want to play with me? Um I think I'm gonna be done before too long, I hope. And in that case, when I get done, then yes, I sure will play with you. If you would like to, what I was going to do is I was going to sit you in my lap and show them the tickles. Mm -mm. What about if I sit you in my lap and I hold my arms around you like a seatbelt, like a buckle or a blanket? Mm -hmm. What if uh, you sit in my lap, Pikachu sits in your lap, and Hello Kitty sits in Pikachu's lap? And then we make a little conga line. Okay. Somebody's calling me. Oh, okay. Somebody's... Somebody wants you. Somebody wants you. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello. Oh, I see. Um, yes, we did order a pizza. We did. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, could you remind me, which pizza was it you were bringing? I, was, I don't know which one we were bringing today. Hmm, are you sure? Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickle! I've got my tickles on you! I've got my tickles! No! Tickle, 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 no! tickle, 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 No! Oh, too much? Too much. Tickle. Okay, too much tickle. I'm sorry. Too much. Sometimes you can do that much, sometimes not so much. <laughs> sometimes we're not in a very tickly mood. There are some times where all I have to do to make her laugh, to make her tickle, is go, boots. <laughs> and what then, is this called? This is called tickle juice. No, no, not tickle juice. Um, that is tea, I think. Is that a bottle of tea? Oh, it's my turn. All right, if you're not going to sit up here, I'm going to move the camera back this way, okay? Would that be all right? Okay. I'll, I was oh. going to <laughs> All right. Ready? I'm going to turn the camera this way. See, now it, now it can't see you. Would you like me to come over here? The reason is because when I lean forward, it won't be able to see me. My head will be off the screen like this. <laughs> that's, that's why. Would you be okay with coming up here, honey? I was not going to come up. Oh, what, what, what? I got an idea. I got something. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull you up. I want to whisper in your ear. Okay. I'm just gonna whisper in your ear. Don't. I don't want to get on the bed. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm whispering in her ear. I have a question to ask you, but it's a private question. Okay. Uh, I think it's oh, is that why? Oh, next time you should let me know, please. Okay. No worries, then. No worries. Mm-hmm. I didn't know, but now I know. Thank you. <laughs> got a, we got that all sorted out. She had something that she didn't, that she didn't tell me. Oh, what did I just miss? Oh, wow. I guess you did it. Yeah, I was, I was a little distracted playing with you and getting that all sorted out. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I was distracted. You didn't know. That's correct. I didn't. Um, maybe just a little bit distracted. Okay. Let's what? see. Oh, you do have something. Oh, it's your piggy. Pig, pig, pig. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Nice little piggy. So I'm going to take one here from the horizon canopy and play... Okay, about to say, if that got stuck, I would not be too pleased. 
All right. And then I will pass back, I guess. This is going to hurt. Why? Because there's a lot of damage coming my way. There's a lot of damage. I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm assuming that resolved correctly. Oh, wait, because an arc amoeba came back. Okay, I got that on camera. I got... Huh. I got your four amalgams on camera. LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm going to be taking 13, right? Take 13, go to 2. Hey, it happens. It happens sometimes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Alright, show me a conflagrate. Is there a conflagrate in the yard? Nope, there's not. Okay. Oh, just just a thug, that's all. Uh, that does complicate things, actually. Um, what can I find to get me out of this? Well, I don't have Spirit Link, so I don't have a ready source of life gain. So, I can't... I, I would need... Even another Horizon Canopy into a Daybreak Coronet won't help, because I'll put myself to zero in doing so. So... Please, what will you have to do to get out of that one? Um, that's a good question, Evangeline, and the short answer is, I don't know that I can. I think I might just lose here, actually. But we're gonna play it out, just in case. Draw a card. There's Path. That is exceedingly no. too late. I Gigi. might not want to do it. Yeah, fair enough. Game three. Alright, and, uh... Yeah, we're going to go to the game three, I guess. No. Well, we have to, you see. All right, so I'm going to keep it the same, actually. I think that it's all right. No, I don't want to go to game three. Could we do game three later? Yeah. Um, that's what they're asking. Um, how soon? That's usually... I've never come in this, like, five minutes. Five minutes? Let me know when you can get back on. Please. <laughs> then, yes. We'll make it... Oh. We'll make it work. And we're back. It's uh, T1 Glistenrel for game three of this Modern League. Uh, let's see. So, has reset their game count. Yeah, so we are... <laughs> this is the next day. We had to take a bit of a break, take a pause. Uh, I will draw my seven. Hey! Alright, cool. <laughs> draw seven. Let's see if I can keep this hand. Um may not know that that's me. It's a me. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, this is a... This is a... Ooh. This may not be great. So it has one land, one creature. If I can get another land, I can go into Spirit Dancer and try to go to town. But, um, we've seen how explosive this deck... Now, on the other hand, it's one creature, but Ethereal Armor times two. Oh, crap. Crap, you're right. Thank you. Never mind, I'm, I'm silly, I forgot, this is game three. Alright, so never mind. That, ignore that, that doesn't count. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm glad you think I'm silly. <laughs> okay, so we'll sideboard the same way we did last time. Dromoka's out, and... I, I was even just talking about it, and then I... I'm silly sometimes. As, as she can tell you, I'm silly sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Alright. So, lands one, two. 
The only creature is a spirit dancer, but since we're on the play, we are much, much, much more likely to get to it. So I think this is alright. We can go turn one windswept into tapped temple garden, turn two temple garden, and I will say keep. Huh? <laughs> Alright, that means I'm how keeping are you my hand. Doing this? Oh, I'm uh I'm just being silly, that's how. <laughs> All right, and I will play yeah, my land. Yeah, he is really silly. I am. She can tell you that. And pass the turn. <laughs> now, it's a little bit risky, so if they have a nature's claim, they could blow me out on this daybreak cornet. But even if they do, I'll still be drawing some cards. So I, it's not the end of the world. Um, okay, that's a fetch. All right, now, even though it's passed back to me, that was done by the opponent, so it's assumed it's end of turn. So this is still end of turn uh, fetch, despite what it looks like. That's just common, apparently, for doing this. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> it took You had to think for a second. It was loading. All right. And get it in tapped. Okay, there we go. Now, on to my turn. And draw. Ooh, that's good. That's a really good card. One, two, take that. <laughs> All right. And then we'll pass the turn. Oh, now we're gonna try to go Ethereal Armor, draw, find land, Daybright Coronet. And if they have the Nature's Claim, they have the Nature's Claim. What are we gonna do? Um, again, at least we'll get to draw a card because uh, Core Spirit Dancer uh, counts when you cast an aura spell. It doesn't have to resolve. Oh, she's doing that song I was singing for earlier. It's a uh, an English rendition of the theme to Girls Last Tour, which is an anime that I had relatively recently gotten into. I haven't seen much of it yet, so please don't spoil for me. So with a one, two, three, we will pick up our feet. The pain of yesterday is gone away. Tomorrow we meet it with a one. I have breath control. One, two, three. <laughs> We're moving our feet. The world won't wait around, so make a sound you need. Oh, this looks like another cathartic reunion. Yep. No response. With the one, two, three, don't stop moving your feet. I'm sure that's all that we, that's all that we need. Well, no matter what, we do have to go for the ethereal arm. Ooh, okay. So we found a, uh, a narco amoeba. What's the rest that hit? This time I'm actually going to pay attention. So I see another stinkweed, so presumably we're doing five again. She really likes this song. The, the video is infinitely better when she's in it. I think we can all agree. I love you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be your blanket. Or your seatbelt. My hands are cold. Yes, my hands are cold right now. I'm sorry. Let me hold my coffee for a bit to warm my hands up. Oh, so we are doing Life in the Loam. Okay. I, I unfortunately missed... I see there's a prized amalgam. That's fair enough. That's what you expect. It's going to come in tap, so it's end of turn, apparently. One, one unusual thing about this is that it's not the default that you reveal cards that have already been revealed. Like, so like when you dredge, you know there's a dredge card in your hand. It's not naturally revealed. But I know that that should be two stinky dimps and a life in the loam. Okay. Just to check, you dredged st 
stinkweed imp times two and life from the loam. So I'm just I'm checking to make sure that those are three of the cards at hand. Yep, okay, okay, we're good. So we will untap, draw a card, please be a land. It's a land! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Okay. Now, because that is a wooded foothills and not a windswept, I cannot get basic planes. So I'm gonna, I would, if I want the white mana, I'm gonna have to go fetch shock. Uh, I very much would like the white mana here because what I would like to do is ethereal armor daybreak coronet and just maximize that life gain I'm about to get. Yeah, that's nice. You did a good job there. So even though I'm going to be taking... Oh my goodness, not this again. Okay. Even though I'm about to be taking three, I will somewhat make up for it. Um, the alternative is that I fetch one and get the Spider Umbra and Daybreak Coronet. And I'm sure my opponent sees what's going on here. Let's find a card. The last temple garden. And I'm just making sure. I can't think of anything that they would be able to do. Gut shot, maybe? <laughs> Oh, I love you so much, honey. Oh, oh. <gasps> There's an unflinching courage. Next turn, it's gonna get real exciting. It's gonna get really exciting. <laughs> oh. What is gonna get real exciting? We're gonna play some big cards, honey. We're gonna play some big cards. <laughs> Seems good. All right, so I have drawn. Um, price check. All right, so on its own, Core Sphere Dancer is an O2. Because there are two auras on it, it gets plus two, plus two twice. So it's a four, six. With Ethereal Armor, it gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. There are two enchantments, so plus two, plus two. So we're at a six, eight. Plus, it gets Daybreak Coronet, which makes it a 9 11. <laughs> 9 11, lol. <laughs> okay, well, it just happened naturally. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at my eyes on the picture. Oh, you have funny eyes. And you too. You got a funny hat out. <laughs> I have a funny cheek. Oh, you do? <laughs> I have a funny mouth too. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I'm, get so many for that. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. All right, there we go. You have. I think that's supposed to be your ice cream, right? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm is it tasty? Mhm. Mm this is part of her uh, her playset ice cream. Now we can still get blown out here if uh, nature's claim is drawn. Nope. Well, okay, well, we might get to it. We might get to it. We're, we're resolving this first. But, it, yes, uh, a nature's claim would be <laughs> kind of catastrophic. Let's actually look in here. So there's a nature's claim, so we're one down. I don't know, we might get lucky. Um, I say catastrophic. What, what would happen if nature's claim comes onto ethereal armor and destroys that and the daybreak coordinate? is that on the next turn, I would probably just suit up the Unflinching Courage, which would do plus two, plus two, 
plus the plus two plus two on its own, so it would be a four six trample lifelink. That's probably still good enough to keep me in the game. Okay, so we have a mountain. I'm sorry, I missed something. Was that, oh, that's just a, they had an extra land, I guess. Oh, we're going to hard, ca oh. Nice. <laughs> nice play. Okay. Combat. I'm making sure that they're uh, they're attacking here. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go down two. One, two, three. Insert Japanese here. Okay. That's not how it goes. <laughs> not how it goes. <laughs> okay. So it's still their turn. I don't think there's anything else they can do. I'm going to scratch your back for a little bit. So apparently they don't have it. They, they don't have Nature's Climb, which is good for us. Now there's another Spirit Dancer, but I think we're fine where we are. So, um... Do we just... Evangeline, do you think that we just suit up the Spirit Mandal and just beat them this turn? Yes. I think that's what we do. I think that's exactly what we do. I might want to do that one too. Okay, would you like to do it? Yeah. Okay. All you have to do is click on it with your finger and drag it up anywhere in here. Oh, <laughs> you have to double click. It, yeah, this is a touchpad, so it's a little weird. So you do like, like that. Here, I'll, I'll click it and you can drag it. Now drag it up. And let it go wherever you'd like. She's playing for me now. <laughs> Oh, GG. Yeah, I, I got the GG's. <laughs> yep, GG. GG means good game. That's right. GG means they did not win. They did not win. Sorry for them. All right. Yay! We won! <laughs> we won! We won! We did it! We did it together! We did it together! Yep. I want to do it again. Oh, well, we have to wait till next week to do another one. They only do one per week. Mm -hmm. But we can do something else later. No. <laughs> no. We <laughs> can't argue with that. No. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so cute. Woo. This is the match. I want to do it. Yep. Sorry about dredging nature's claim. Sorry about dredging nature's claim. <laughs> that would have blown me out. <laughs> they did a good, they did a, as good a job as they could given the circumstances. All right. I think we should probably cut the recording. What do you think? All right. True. No. Oh, you don't want to yet? No. True. True. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you want to do something else for the camera before we cut the recording? Mm-hmm. Okay, what would you like to do for the camera? I don't know. Can you show them your, your dance for me? No? Can you do another song? <gasps> I know! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna sing a song for you. Are they on the camera? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, 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 your Jigglypuff song put me to sleep. I will try to stay awake. Okay. Jigglypuff, jiggly, 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 jiggly.
I can I please do the serious part? Yes, please. Can you please do it for me? Jiggly puff, jiggly Please. Okay, I thought do. that was the serious part. Hmm. What's the serious part? Just do it. Uh, well, I, I thought I knew what it was. Jiggly puff, jiggly, That's it. jiggly. The ice cream is <laughs> The serious part gets ruined by ice cream. See, ice cream. Ice cream! <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, honey bunny. Can I please um, show them one more thing? Of course, of course. This is her Hello Kitty in her Mario outfit. Like the Super Mario overalls. Ah. Oh. I am the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Kitty is dancing on ice cream. You got ice cream on your butt, Hello Kitty. You got ice cream on your butt. This is all just going to be bloopers at the end, I'm sure. This is all just outtakes. Now, what do I do now? Hmm. <laughs> I have my beard. Hmm. You know what? What? We said we were going to get our washable markers and draw you a beard, too. She has... I'm going to call it beard envy. She really wishes she had a beard like me. So we're going to give her a beard just like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, where am I? Oh, you're in ice cream land. Ice cream land? Ice cream land! Evangeline's favorite place in the world. In, no, my, in my arms, in ice cream land. There we go. You are flying on ice cream in Evangeline's room. Wow! Oh, oh, now you're upside down flying on ice cream in Evangeline's room. <laughs> okay, we're going we're to cut this one real quick. All no! Right. All right, bye! Can... Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye! Has everybody gotten a chance to say goodbye? Who wants to say goodbye? You! Oh, oh that's right, I haven't yet. Bye bye!